You are consistently posting and yet your follower count isn't growing. What's the problem? Today's video will break down the two components that are turning profile visitors away and how to change it. What's up YouTube fam? I'm Shannon, a social media strategist who helps creative entrepreneurs navigate social channels to create more conversions. Now be sure to stay to the end as I will give you a bonus tip that will help you go the extra mile. Be sure to give this sweet subscribe button a little bit of a love tap so you can join me here twice a week as I dish out all the valuable information. There is no gatekeeping here, my friends. Let's get to it. Here is the real deal. When someone lands on your page, they decide within seven seconds whether or not they want to follow you. No pressure. <laughs> Starting with your profile picture. Is it clear? Is it a picture of you? Because ideally, people love people. We are hardwired to want to see faces. It builds the likability and the trust factor big time. But if you're shy and you wanna have your logo, just make sure it's very clear. That profile picture bubble is such a tiny space. The next thing that your potential follower is looking at is your Instagram bio. If your Instagram bio just lists out your favorite hobbies and the number of your kids and dogs, well, that person is going to be swiping off your profile immediately. The number of kids you have and dogs doesn't do anything for them. I'm constantly comparing Instagram to a dinner party. So say you have a guest that brings a date and this date doesn't know anything about you. What would you say? What would you do? Well, for starters, your first name would be nice. If you have an Instagram handle without your name in it and you don't list it in your bio, how do you expect them to know you, let alone begin to like you? Are you gonna set up a dinner party and say, hey, thank you, you for inviting me? No. Next, you wanna give the benefits. Why should people follow you? You need to make this stand out because countless people do what you do. That's just a fact. What makes you better? A word of advice here, don't use generic terms or words everyone else is using. Try something different and fresh to help you stand out. Remember, keep it simple. If you have a profession in the health or medical industry and your Instagram bio is full of big and complicated scientific words, chances are your potential follower will have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Even if you can change their life, they will still not follow you. Your language should be so simple that a third grader should be able to tell you what you do for a living. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. Then you wanna name your audience. Who is your account for? Get super specific here. I wouldn't say helping moms by teaching them. I would say helping overwhelmed and exhausted moms. Helping moms who are just learning how to breastfeed. You can get way more than just mom. By the way, None of this needs to be set in stone. You can change it up and play with the wording to see which works best. Lastly, you want to give your new guest a gift, perhaps a fabulous glass of bubbles for coming to your amazing dinner party. Well, this means you want to offer a free gift in your bio. I mean, like a resource, a PDF, an ebook, a mini training, a discount. Giving them something makes them trust you and it adds to the connection. Plus, you're giving them a peek of yourself and what it is that you have to offer. After all of this, if you have passed the profile and Instagram bio test and your potential soon to be new follower is still around, they're gonna start snooping just like a new house guest would do, right? Okay, maybe I haven't technically snooped around someone's home, but I have been known to get lost looking around the spectacular interior design. Where are they gonna be going and digging around on your account? In your highlights, have you been neglecting your highlights? Yeah, probably. So it's time for a refresh because your highlights will make you sales while you're sleeping. And that's if they're done correctly. Look, you need to have your highlights curated to speak directly to them while also showing off all that you have to offer and everything that you're about. If you wanna see a complete tutorial on setting up your highlights for success, be sure to watch this video where I break it down step by step. Okay, let's get to the juicy bonus tip. When that profile visitor follows you, send them a DM. And no, I don't mean some spammy generic DM. Think about what you would genuinely say to someone if they came to your dinner party. 
One that I use, for example, is, hi, I just wanted to send a quick thank you for following along, and I hope you find something you love in this sweet little community. It's short, it's sweet, no hidden agendas. It's just genuinely glad to meet them and have them here. It's little touches like this that go a long way. If you made it this far, be sure to tap that sweet little subscription button and join me here twice a week as I deliver valuable content to help you move your business forward. All right, I'll see you in the next video.